more descending scale technique. Hey, today I'm talking about uh, this uh, three string review on page, what is it, 11 on the, in the Hal Leonard Guitar Method book one. So if you're familiar with that or if you're practicing from that right now, this applies to you, but it's also uh, almost a G major scale. It's a G mixolydian scale. Um, and so I'm gonna show you just like this. Just like so. And you can practice it down even though it's not notated that. And the couple things that we want to pay attention to are um, just nice and getting the fr uh, fingertips on the tip of the fingers, close to the fret, but not quite on the fret. And in particular today we're talking about this in particular we're talking today about descending scale techniques. So when you go down how you move now a couple of things <clears throat> you're going to release the fingers on the higher note right as you play the lower note. and you have to do it somewhat abruptly or else you get this uh, let me try it on this wound string hear that this little bit of buzzing right there as i let it go and so you have to be very decisive as I go from, say, the second fret of the G string and let it go right as I'm ready to go with the right hand. So we're timing the two hands together. And that's why it's okay with a new scale with any new muscle memories. Just take all the time in the world you need. I'm going to put the right hand back in its native habitat so you can see what that will And one other thing I mentioned on an earlier video today is that as you go down, you're doing this very nicely, but as you go down the string, you want to prepare the fingers that you're going to use on that string so that as you move from the higher note to the lower note, you only have to time two notes together, the right hand and the release of the left hand. You don't have to do three things at the same time. It's hard enough managing two. So just a couple of tips on the legato and also just preventing these notes from buzzing as you move to a lower note. And the real key of that is moving, timing the right and the left hand together. You can just work on small, you know, pieces of the scale, moving from one note to time that.